turning now to the state of our economy. And as inflation rises, so too are jobless claims. Initial claims increased to $248,000 for the week of February 12th. Claims hit a three-month high in January and were on the decline before this latest spike. Although the economy has created 467,000 jobs in January, inflation could be keeping those working from reaping the benefits of their hard-earned cash. Let's get more on what all of that means for the economy. And welcome back to the show, John Tobacco. Uh, John, appreciate you being with us. Um, we know jobless numbers and jobless claims always fluctuate a little bit, but, but break this latest down for us. You know, Kilmany, first and foremost, you know, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, they go by the acronym BLS. And for years I've been saying I dropped the L because their numbers are mostly BS. They always have to go back and readjust. They're never on the money, ever. Um, many times, you know, in the street, when we, you know, our wise guys, we go out in the street. Sometimes I believe the out of order sign on the bathroom in the bodega more than I believe the BLS on this stuff. But the fact of the matter is this our own government tells us there are 10 million job openings, and we have 6.5 million people who are unemployed. So we've created this culture, certainly for younger kids, where they think they can sit home, get fat, get handouts, and nothing is inspiring them to go out and go back to work. And they figure, well, the long as they keep the masks on the kids and they keep forcing vaccine mandates, the government will just hand us another check. We'll stick it in our Robin Hood account. We'll buy some dodgy coin and we'll make some more money. And we don't need to work. Meantime, we have a boatload of employers in this country who are looking for workers and Joe Biden's whole administration is doing nothing whatsoever to match up the jobs with the people who we're basically paying to sit home. And it's 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 it, the whole thing reeks. Well, isn't uh, part of the issue with plan. this, John? The, isn't part of the issue with this just the long-term unemployed? Because these are people at home that are collecting unemployment and. They're not incentivized to go get a job at a, a fast food restaurant or, or, or maybe um, some other service type industry when they can collect the same amount. Isn't the fundamental problem this program itself? Yeah, well, look, I talked to a lot of small business owners about what the effects are of the lockdowns, the reopening plans in certain places. Uh, and many people say, look, these kids are sitting home. They're getting $500 a week cash in their pocket. You got to offer them $800, $900 a week to even get them to an after-tax dollar amount that matters to them. Why the heck would anybody go to work and sling hamburgers or deliver newspapers or wait on tables to bring home the same amount of money that they can get from Uncle Sam? So, you know, we've created a real problem with all these government spending, and the government spending is the same thing that's causing the inflation. So... You know, a government, uh, we've talked about maybe being an autocracy, a technocracy. Um, I would say the administration right now, what we're seeing is an idiocracy. Uh, John, I want to get one more question in here before we have to pivot. But when you look at the jobs numbers, obviously, the Biden administration, the White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi came out and they, cre they, they touted all of these jobs. But the question is, what kind of jobs are they? There's obviously a lot of restaurants that haven't been able to reopen because they don't have the staff for it. But that's a product of the problem that you just mentioned. So what kind of jobs have been created? Well, uh, if you ask me, the administration we have right now has done nothing to create new kinds of jobs. And one of the things Jen Sock Puppet and the rest of the people in the administration keep telling us about, look how great the jobs numbers have been. Well, you can't look at the numbers since you took over, which would dip down to oh, so poorly because of the pandemic. And they're now claiming gaining back jobs that we already had pre-pandemic as their wins. These are just people returning to work. Um, and from what I saw, I looked at a whole bunch of stuff today. And I think there are there are a wide array of jobs from regular menial labor, which maybe some Americans don't want to do anymore because of the unemployment and social programs. But there are a heck of a lot of jobs out there in new tech and stuff like that that are available. I think our administration has to try to do things to bring the employers 
and the hopefully employed together because the jobs are there. Yeah, great points, John. We appreciate it. And don't forget to catch Wise Guys. John Tobacco is the host of that at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight, right after The Count, which I will be hosting. So, uh, John, tough act to follow.